Hey, 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 time for another out of this world story from our space. Wife, 33 female, admitted to cheating on me, 33 male, was my best friend, 32 male, during Thanksgiving dinner. I'm writing this at 3 a.m. on a throwaway account because all my friends know my Reddit account. The day after Thanksgiving because I honestly have no clue what to do. My wife, my best friend, the love of my life since 10th grade, cheated on me with my best friend. I'm absolutely shattered. To give some backstory, me and my wife, I call her M, have been dating since high school. When I met her in ninth grade, she was dating T, my best friend in this story. At that time, me and T were okay friends, although not that close. After meeting her, I became quickly infatuated with my wife. All of freshman year of high school, I would pray that her and T would break up so that I could have a chance. Eventually, it happened, and in 10th grade, I befriended her and asked her out. Our relationship was one of the best things that happened to me all of high school, and her company sustained me through what was, overall, a pretty crappy four years. Seeing as they were just freshmen when they dated, T didn't seem all that bothered that I was dating his ex, even giving me his blessing when I asked if it was okay. By senior year, we were close buddies, and there was absolutely no reason to believe that he held any animosity toward me for getting with his ex-girlfriend from freshman year. Her. Us three all went to the same local state school for college, where I kept my relationship with my wife and my close friendship with T. There were times when it became blatantly clear that T was attracted to my wife, like when I caught him staring at her during parties, and when one of my other friends told me that T had confided in him a desire to screw my wife. While that bothered me, my wife was very attractive, so I understood that other guys, including my friends, will inevitably be attracted to her, and as long as they don't make a move, I don't really care. Overall, though, it was very clear he was heavily attracted to her, and over the years we have been friends, he has always made sly comments about her attractiveness and about how lucky I was. Once even commenting on her ass shape. Fast forward to over a decade later to this year. Me and my wife now have two beautiful children, a son and a daughter, and are married, while T is recently divorced from his ex-wife. It was a pretty brutal divorce, so recently over the past few months, T has been in a deep, depressive state. I wanted to be there emotionally for him, but simply couldn't because the demands of my job as well as mental problems I had been dealing with myself consumed all my time. My wife stepped in and helped as he was going through his stuff. They had never been that close since college, and my wife disliked T's womanizing tendencies, but after T's divorce and my wife being there for him, I noticed the definite change in their attitude for each other. Whenever T would come over to chill with me, my wife would always sit next to him as well as laugh at his jokes, as well as go out of her way to ask when he was coming over next time. I noticed this and it bothered me, but didn't want to ask because I didn't want to come off as possessive, as well as liked how T had someone to be there for him when I couldn't. It continued to the point where my wife started to go over to T's house to hang out with him while I was at work. Eventually, around September, I snapped and told them I was uncomfortable with how much time they were spending together. Instead of getting mad or calling me controlling, she apologized and said she had gotten caught up in the friendship and would respect my boundaries. I asked her if she was attracted to T and she admitted that yes, she felt some attraction and T had flirted with her but he had never made a move and that they had never done anything. Just this news struck my heart and I told my wife I didn't want her to hang out with T anymore. She agreed and apologized for her actions. For the next couple of weeks, everything seemed fine, with the exception that I started avoiding T. At the beginning of this month, however, me and my wife got into a blow-up fight over financial issues. She has been struggling to find work since the pandemic has been winding down, and despite a very flexible labor market, for some reason no one would hire her. My job is not enough to support a four-person household, so it had been in a lot of stress financially. The argument got so bad that she walked out and didn't return until several hours later. I didn't ask where she had been, but she seemed almost disheveled and had an odd look on her face. Despite this, I never questioned her about her whereabouts, as I really at that point didn't feel like talking to her. Now fast forwarding to Thanksgiving, where my entire family as well as some of my friends including T, who at this point I haven't talked to in over a month, were invited. The conversation over dinner was going well until politics was brought up. Me and T are on completely opposite sides of the political spectrum, him being a hardcore Trumper and me being a liberal. Please don't argue over politics in the comment section. Generally, we avoided discussing politics in our relationship, but for some reason today, he seemed adamant to discuss it. It quickly turned heated, with the conversation turning personal, with T yelling that my liberalism was a sign of my timidness and failure to be a man. I asked him where that had come from and he responded that I couldn't even satisfy my wife sexually. This completely shocked me and the whole dinner table, as me and my wife never discussed our sex life in front of anyone, and the rest of the dinner was fairly awkward and full of silence. After dinner, when everyone had begun leaving, I confronted my wife in T. She stared at the ground while he stared me in the eyes and admitted to screwing my wife on November 4th, the day we had the blow-up fight. He said she came over seeking advice and they ended up hugging, 
with him making a move. He said she initially resisted and said it was wrong but eventually gave in and they had sex. The whole time my wife was silent and staring at the floor. Instead of feeling anger, I felt utter shock and couldn't get a word out. After a few minutes of silence, T just left and I was alone with my wife. She broke down crying, saying that it's as the worst mistake of her life and that the stress of my work, taking care of our children, as well as my personal issues which lead to me being non-attentive to her, made her feel undesired, and that T's attention and flirting made her feel good. She said she was never planning to do anything with T even though he had hinted at wanting to sleep with her when they hung out, and was just going to use him for attention while I was absent. She said it was that weakness of the moment after her fight that led her to have sex with him. I told her to get out of my face and that I needed time alone to think. She went up to her room and came down to try to talk and plead with me, but every time I screamed at her to get out of my face. Now sitting here writing this, I'm absolutely devastated. The thought of my wife sleeping with another man tears me apart, to the point where I've never felt pain this harsh. I want to stay with her as she is the love of my life, but I don't know what to believe. Did they really have sex only once? Was it really an innocent mistake because of stress? I don't know. I want to stay with my wife more than anything though. So what are you guys' thoughts on this? First response from Bear Jump in 9321. Leave her. She's blaming her mistake on you and wanted to take the secret to her grave. And T is a crappy, crappy man. Get rid of him. Edit. Now that I think of it, they've done it more than once. She's just trying to do damage control. Logical proposal 827 chimes in. She told him you don't satisfy her. It is more than once. Get an SCD test, get a lawyer. The mind movies will never stop. You'll be looking over your shoulder. You can always stop the divorce. Tell her you're getting the kid's DNA tested. Ask if she wore protection. If she says yes, it wasn't spur of the moment. I'm sorry this happened to you. Tell her if she ever speaks to him again, she's out immediately. He comes around, beat his butt. He couldn't wait to throw that in your face and he's going to tell everyone. You may have to cut her loose. Be strong for your kids, if they are. TXSC thinks, It seems unlikely that this is the only time they ever crossed a line. I suspect there was at least emotional cheating. If you decide to stay with her, you would both need individual counseling and eventually marriage counseling. If you decide to divorce, first a lawyer to see where you stand. What will life be like after a divorce? In fact, do so before making a decision. I would wait a week or two to make a decision either way. Let the initial shock wear off first. Then make your decision. Is your wife capable of putting in the hard work of building back trust and helping you heal? Of course, your friend has to be cut out of both of your lives for good. No compromise there. Next comment coming from Mrs. Jingles0729. So sorry, OP. This wasn't the first time. Look up Trickle Truth. They try to get away with more by only admitting the specific thing while not being honest about anything else. They deny everything you don't have hard proof on. Unfortunately, this wasn't a mistake, especially not an innocent one. It was a series of very calculated and strategic choices that you would have never found out about and would still be going on if her affair partner didn't have a tantrum. She is lying and cheating on you while being unemployed and making you foot the bill for her affair partner's Thanksgiving dinner. Where were your children while they were together? What about while he was at your dinner table disrespecting you? That is gross and so bold that she has her affair partner over around your kids at Thanksgiving. Don't let your wife gaslight you. She's already making excuses and trying to shift the blame onto you. If you stay with her, absolutely expect more lies, more cheating, and her making you believe that you are jealous and crazy while she uses you financially. She really can't get a job? Or would one just cut into her time with the affair partner? Get an STI test. Lawyer up to learn your options. And lean on your friends and family right now. Really think if you want your kids being raised in this environment. Kids may make what they see and will seek out the same as adults. If you do stay, it's going to be impossible to really know since you work and she has all the time in the world to give her love and attention to him. And it would be impossible to take her word for it since she's good at hiding lies and cheating on you. Up next, together since 16, I've been faithful the whole time. Met my wife at 16 while on a trip for basketball, and we've been inseparable ever since. We were quintessential high school sweethearts, picked our university together, moved into our first place at 19, and got married at 24. We've had two kids since then, and they are now five and two. I was very inexperienced when we met, had kissed exactly two girls before her, and have remained faithful to her the whole time we have been together, 16 years now. Recently, I've discovered that she has been unfaithful to me virtually every time we have been together with the same guy. They worked together during our senior year at high school and started hooking up that summer. 
It has been 14 years of infidelity since then, and I finally found out. I am shattered and feeling very scared. I don't want to be alone the rest of my life, but literally haven't dated for half my life now. It feels incredibly overwhelming to consider starting dating or even consider intimacy with someone else. Does anyone else deal with this? How do you approach it? Were you honest with potential partners about your situation? First response from Fragrance Spray. You say you don't want to be alone, but you are alone now. You just have someone next to you. Some people might suggest marriage counseling, but she's been doing this for 14 freaking years. It's not an accident. It's not a mistake. It's not a lax in judgment. For 14 years, before you even got married, your wife decided to do something that she knew could be a relationship ender, and for 14 years, she decided that the risk was worth it. My instinct is that if this guy was willing to commit to her, she would have left you by now. And if this guy is willing to commit to her in the future, she'll leave you then. Get a lawyer and an STD test. Definitely get paternity tests for the kids, and prepare your exit strategy. You are never going to trust her, nor should you. You are, and probably always have been, the backup plan. Next response from D. Save. This is a sociopathic level of deceit. DNA paternity tests for your kids. Do it in front of her. You will find that it's very easy to find a new relationship at your age. One weight 8383. That's not a betrayal, that's leading a double life. If you can prove the betrayal starting before marriage and continuation until recently, you would be able to prove that entire marriage happened under false pretense. You would get favorable outcome in court even if you live in a no-fault state. Contact a lawyer now. Keep all evidences. Next story. He had a plan with a side chick. My ex is the father of our now two-year-old. He has been kicked out of my house for one year. We had a relationship for 10 years. I found out my ex told his side chick of 12 years, she was married until five years ago, that he would break up with me and marry her after he got a house from me. We're in Great Vancouver area in British Columbia. Single houses are expensive here. My ex claims now that they were just manipulating each other. He never had a plan with her. Well, I also find out he visits massage hookers every week. My ex was kicked out without getting a house from me because he only lived in my house full time for one year, and I finally found out his secret life before he could legally claim a portion of my house. Should I expose his evil plan with his mistress to his family and friends? I bought a second house after he's gone. He hates me so much that I lied to him of buying a house together with him but never did it. What do you think about this guy? What do you think about his side check? First response from Nero Aldrin 20. Yes, let him live in the streets. The OP responds back. The side chick lives in warfare housing with two kids. I think this was say welfare. My ex has a one bedroom apartment. He won't let her take any advantage from him. Next chip in from Benikov. Absolutely give them so much evidence it can't be refuted. Oki responds, The only thing I'm concerned about is, I don't want my baby to have a famous piece of crap father. Next thought from No Celebration 3737. He would have it regardless of your actions. Someone like him will be exposed sooner or later if you do. You could probably prevent his family from trying to make you two come back together. Next quit from Reatical87. Both of them cheating garbage ended up with nothing. They truly deserve each other. And yes, Oki, expose them both to all the people they know. Coffee Snob 7882 thinks. So aside from him being overweight and stinky, he's also a leech. What was his appeal in the first place? Jokes aside, I wouldn't volunteer to air out the dirty laundry to his family unless they press on it. Both of them deserve each other and you don't need that kind of drama. The OP has one last thought. Ten years ago, he was average looking. Two low lives had an affair when he was with his ex-girlfriend and never stopped. 